Hi, welcome back to the Jack and Glenn channel. I'm Jackie. And I'm her husband, Glenn. Yeah, that's my husband, Glenn. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our reviews. Also, make sure you hit that membership button that's on your screen as well. Uh, but tonight, we're going to do Ready to Love. Ready to Love. Ah, man, and the men are in charge. So that means a woman, a lady, has to go home today. Mm -hmm. And who will it be? I don't know. But Let's I know Tommy told them in the gentleman's lounge that they have to go to their backup plan. Mm -hmm. Whoever their backup is. And so... Number two. Yeah. Who's your number two? Yeah. So he said, if you had a foundation and you need to rebuild all over and your house was destroyed. Who would you build it with? Who would you build it with? Mm -hmm. So Tori was like, I got to rethink this because I really don't have a backup per se. It's just like Sabrina. And even Clifton was like, you know, I'm not super comfortable with going to somebody else because me and Joy's connection is just so... But, you know, I did make a, I do have a great connection with Dakia, so. Yeah, I mean, Clifton is one of those type, like, look, he knows he's going to be around for a while. When you just do process elimination, he knows. But now he has the choice. Who do I pick? Me and Dakia got a little something, something. Me and Joy got a little something, something. And let's, let's find out. Mm -hmm. Let's move. I mean, a lot of the guys have one or two choices. I mean, at this point, a lot of the guys have one or two cho choices. Eric has two choices. Eric has Carmen, Carmen and Dakia, right? Laverne at this point has two choices as well. Uh, he has, um, excuse me, he has um, was uh, Joy, mm -hmm. and he has Ace. So everybody got somebody. They, you know, and we know Paul has a couple as well. Yeah. So let's see who the men eliminates. So Eric takes Carmen out. Mm -hmm. um, he greets her with flowers. Um, and, you know, they have a good connection. They knew each other before. So he's just trying to see where they yeah, can kind of fit and in. And knew each other before, meaning they, they knew each other, but they also had some feelings for each other that they never pursued. Right. So he kind of, I don't know, you said the last time it was kind of like cheating, but they didn't know each other was going to plot for the show. That's true. So, so it happens. Mm-hmm. And so, uh... Carmen says, you know, I'm a little nervous to, to get with Eric, though, to go on this date with him, but, you know, I'm good. Um, and they had a little shady kind of conversation about when I was kind of with you at the, uh, you know, little mansion, the little barbecue, when you was cooking thing, it was people hovering, mm -hmm. and we really, really couldn't focus because people was hovering. Yeah, you're talking about the key, it was hovering. She was always in the She space. was there first. From what we saw. Carmen. Then Carmen came in on the scene. But well, Carmen's the boss. Yeah. So. Um, she was like, uh, they said people were interfering with their time. Um, and so, you know, he, they t basically, you know, it's like, like, you know, it's the key. You feeling her or whatever. But um, uh, she was like, let them know <laughs> that I'm here and, you know, you've settled on me. So, you know. Carmen in her vignette called Dakia a desperate woman. Yes, she, she did. She said, Eric is mine. Yo, she's going to be, she, look, Carmen's going to be some problems. Yeah, she said she's the main dish and Dakia is the appetizer. Okay. Um, so they had a whole lot of flirting going on, you know. Uh, uh, he popped, uh, you know, he leaned in for the kiss. With, you know, they had the little kiss. Yeah. A little moment there, but I mean, she said first she like, touch me, or, or you won't or, or touch me. So he rubs up her arm a little bit and said, you know, talking about be touching Carmen. Everybody wants to touch Carmen, you know. So again, and there was a lot of sexual innuendos going back and forth. It was a two. lot of that on these dates. Uh, there was a lot of that on these dates, but between both of them, they're feeling each other. He's feeling her. I mean, at the end of this whole thing, he was like, Carmen moved up and the Kia slid down. So hey. I think he wants Carmen anyway. I think he always wanted Carmen, but the kid threw a curveball in there when he went on a date with her the first time, and they had a lot of things in common. Mm -hmm. And so he's looking at Carmen like, you know what? I like a boss. Um, she's a boss. Yeah. Uh, so let's roll. Um, we see Tina and Demetrius go out. And Tina looks like a totally different person. I'm sorry, y'all. She did. I was like, who's that? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was me. I'm, I, 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 <laughs> From I'm the like, date to her vignette, I was like, oh. Yeah. I don't know if I like that hair on her, but I mean, okay. 
Um, but anyway, and so she said she looked forward to the date, but was kind of surprised that he asked her out. And, you know, she said to him, you know, you, you like really kind of ignored me at the pool party. Mm -hmm. Um... And basically, she just went in on him, and you know, you giving me player vibes. Player vibes. What you what you here for? You know. But um, he held he held his own very well, because he mean play. What you mean? People are interested in me. I can't help if people are interested in me. What am I supposed to do? If they interested in me, not not give them any interest back. Right. They interested in me. So we're in the, basically we're in this contest. I need to fill out who they are, and are we here for love, and are we not here for love? So he allowed them to maneuver into that in realm, and he he was able to work. Um, with Tina and work her down a little bit where she's at the end of the date she's interested in him mm. it wasn't just old player vibes and, he, and she knows she started off rough and he knows she started off rough but oh, by yeah, the, she said I came in hot came in hot so by the end of the thing you know Demetrius did his job cooled her down and let because she asked him flat out are you interested in me and he's like yo I am yeah because after the um the kiss and the ear nibbling yeah with uh between him and Sabrina she was like you know is there space for me? And he was like, yeah. And she was like, well, you have to prove yourself to me that you're not the player that, you know, um, you're kind of coming off as. And, you know, that you're serious. And he was like, oh, I can do that. Yeah, um, uh, He said he is interested and he wants to explore that. Yeah, he wants to explore, he wants to explore Tina a little bit more. Um, now, mind you, Tina's the one who likes older men. And he's not, he's not Paul age, but he is a little bit older. Right, so you know, her and Paul was what, fifteen, sixteen years difference? Seventeen. Yeah, it was a yeah, lot. Yeah, like she's thirty one and he's like forty eight, something like that. It so was it's a, a big lot. It's more more than I would ever do. Yeah, so that's like he could be her daddy. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's bad. I mean it's not bad. Seventeen years? Cause it's not for it's just not for me. Like I wouldn't I do know. it. Seventeen is a lot. I've never messed with anyone 17. <laughs> she was not 17 years. No, she was not 17 years <laughs> older than me. Sorry. She was not. Um, she was 10. <laughs> but another 17. Uh, this was back in college, y'all. We was friends in college, so this, don't worry about it. It's the whole, I'll tell that story later. I honestly can say, I don't, I didn't really date guys that were much older than me. We were, I always dated a guy that was kind of like around my age. Uh, most of the time, they kind of ended up being younger than me, but just like by months, you know. Or I, yeah, like I didn't go down. But so I had mean, me. I, you know, I, I went up down to, in age. You know, come to I had that it. one that was down in age. You know. Yeah, but think about it. It wasn't ten. It was fourteen. Sorry, it was fourteen years older than me. Fourteen's not that much different from seventeen, eighteen. It's so four more years. I never, I never dated a guy that was yeah. like way older than me. Let's, I, let's no, on. not way older. But I never know who watched this. Why video. you want to change that topic? I got family members that watched this. They don't know the story. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> um, okay, so then we go to Donovan. <laughs> we go to Donovan, um, and so Donovan. He says, you know, I came in kind of late in the game and connections are made. So he basically tried to explore more than one yeah. second because he don't really have a top per se. Right. But he had, um, he had, to, he had to move fast because he had to, because he he's uh, had to get in connection with these women. Because, again, if he doesn't have a connection, he has to go home. And we saw that with AP. She didn't really have a connection. So she went home. So Don was like, you know what? I need to connect with these girls so I don't go home. Mm -hmm. So who can I connect with? And so he asked Carmen out, mm -hmm. Sabrina, and Dakia. Yeah. All right. Because um, he says, you know, I don't want to expedite my process and, you know, get through it. And so uh, he takes Carmen out. It actually turns out to be her. It's her birthday. Mm -hmm. And they have a nice little date. I'm going to get into each one of them. But um, I wanted to say that first before I forget. So um, Dakia was like, for her, you know, when she seen him, she was like, mm, he is fine. Yeah. And, you know, she shares that with him. It was like, if you was there from the start, now nah, I would have jumped on it. He said, oh, what, you would have... Uh, uh, Locked me up? <laughs> no, no, that's not what, it he, wasn't, said. what he said. I can't remember what he said, but he was like, oh, you would have scooped me up or sopped me up. Some kind of way he said it. I was like, okay. Yeah. You would have ate me up, something like that. And um, 
she was like, oh, everybody's been talking about Mr. Donald. He was like, why are they talking about me? She was like, because you like the new, new kid at school. So it's that kind of talk. It's not like nothing bad. But, you know, when a new kid comes to school, it's like everybody be talking about him. Yeah, but I want to know new kid. That's what it is. What's up with the new kid? And um, <laughs> let's see. Um, they did a lot of little flirting going oh, on. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. Uh, she was like, you know, what's your next move? What are you doing in the process? He was like, I have to go into a full court press, ask more analytical questions. And um, she talked about her background in engineering and also how she likes to dance. And he was like, okay, I like that. I forgot you dance and everything. She was like, mm-hmm. Um, so that was their little vibe. Um, with Sabrina, he talks to Sabrina as like, you know, what brought you to this process? And, you know, she was like, I just want to do something different and put myself out there. Um, and he brought up the um, the kiss. And he brought up the kiss and the nibble of the ear as yeah. well. Everybody's um, still back on Truth and Dare, man. Everybody saw, everybody saw and everybody want to know where their place is at. Yeah, so he was like, is it a chance that you get, it, you know, it, for a new connection? You know, and she was like, yeah, you know. Um, and, and Donovan wanted to go out with her again because they had a nice little vibe to connect on yeah. several levels. Both of them were recently divorced. Yeah. Um, it wasn't just physical. It was more intellectual. It was right. an intellectual conversation that they had, and they they was uh, connecting that way. Unlike him and Carmen, was just strictly physical. Yeah, and um, so like I said, they connected on uh, several levels, both newly divorced. He has kids. Sabrina says she <clears throat> wants kids. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, she was like, you know, if I date somebody that's got kids, we if we have our own, it, you know, it'd just be a bonus. You know, they're, they're like right. bonus kids, and yeah, then we can just add to it. Because his kids are 16 and 11. Mm-hmm, which we found out when she was, he was talking to Carmen. Right. I mean, he talked about that some with uh, Tina, too, when mm -hmm. they went out. Um, and, yeah, he, Carmen's son is 16. Um, his kids are 11 and 16. Mm -hmm. And Carmen was basically like, no, nah, I wouldn't want any more kids. But she did kind of say, I would think about it and consider it. She wasn't yes. closed off she to it. Closed off. Um, and like I said, uh, Carmen was all like, you know, um, asking, what's your ideal woman? He's like somebody that's able to adapt to different situations. Um, she was like, you know, I'm competitive. And he was like, I'm competitive too. Um, and... Uh, his love languages are affirmation and touch, touch, and he got a little touch on the arm. That was him and Dakia. Nah, he got a little touch on the knee because when she said it, he was like, "Oh." Oh yeah, that was uh, Carmen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want y'all to know he touched. She touching me on my knee. Touching me on my knee right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and same thing with Dakia. He was like, you know, you're ambitious and. You I want somebody that's ambitious and works independently. Kind of sound like a job application, don't it? Like, you know, a job interview. She thought that was funny. Cause she's like, like a job interview? She yeah, won. yeah. So, um, that's pretty much it. He got Carmen a, a birthday dessert. Yeah. He kind of vibed with everybody, but I think he came out feeling Sabrina a little bit more. He felt Sabrina a little bit more, and Carmen was second, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so then, we see Clifton... We know his top connection is Joy, but he mm. says, you know, I have connected with the Kia, so he wanted to take her out. He says she's come off as having like a nine to five attitude, so I want to see if she can have fun. She can loosen up a little bit, uh -huh. let her hair down. And um, she was like, I'm, I'm happy to have a date with Big Daddy. Um, Everybody love Barry White. It, deep voice. Play it's not just a deep voice. He's playful. You it, but you know, Barry White was the deep voice, but he also had the beard. Like to me, Barry White wasn't even good looking but it, I think it was a combination of everything that had some women like okay so yeah Clifton got the hair he got the facial hair he got the voice and he just I don't know he just um I don't know Clifton to me is just comforting like when Teddy, I'm looking at him he just Teddy Ruxpin com no not that not that kind of way just like he looked like somebody you could relax with like he should make you feel comfortable you yeah. know um, and so that's what all the, the ladies are getting. And Dakia's like, you know, yeah. she was like, he was like, oh yeah, you got your little t-shirt business or whatever. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to make you a blue shirt that says Big Daddy and I'll make me a pink one that says Little Mama. Little Mama. I was like, I don't think Joy going to like that, but okay. <laughs> um, 
But she was talking about how she has fun or whatever, you know, doing a lot of flirting amongst each other. And he feeds her an oyster. She was like, it's not really my cup of tea. tea yeah. But, you know, if you're giving it to me, I'll eat it. And she did. And um, <laughs> Nasty Cells was like, oh, you just want to put something in my mouth. And she was, he was like, you know it. I'm you like, y'all, uh, uh, yeah. Hey. Um, and he, look, she said it, he liked it, and she loved it. So it was what it is. Yeah, they both acknowledge they got a connection. But also, you know, we know we we have other connections. So, you yeah. know, it is what it is. And, uh, um, you know, Clifton was like, you know, it's all fair game, you know. It's all fair game. And he, he, understands, he understands the game. She understands the game. Mm -hmm. we, and the theme here was the kid. Because she's went out with a lot of people in this episode. Yeah. So, so everybody's feeling her. She has something that everybody likes. And so, therefore, people want to get to know her. They want to be in her, um, want to interact with her. They want to be with her. So, guess what? It's all fair game. She's gonna have a good selection at the end. Mm hmm. Um, and they know that at some point, you know, everybody's gonna lock in. So everybody's gonna lock we'll in. Get there. Um, we see Paul take Joy out. Yeah. So, you know, he said they've been vibing or whatever. And just from the start of the date. Joy just really treated it like it was a friend thing. Yeah. And, you know, Paul acknowledged that as they were going through. They haven't spent much time together, but they have talked. And Joy was like, it's it's definitely a platonic date. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> she's locked in. I don't care what she says or anybody else. She's locked in with Clifton, right? Right. And her mind is Clifton. See, I think, this is what I think about this show sometimes. I think once you find that person you're with and you guys are locked in, let's not keep you on. You locked in with me, I'm locked in with you, boom. Let let us go ahead and leave. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Don't right. why why do we have to wait till the end? Y'all too locked in. Exit stage left. Mm hmm. Um. So they talked about how he's made some has. She asked him, has he made some significant connections? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, he talked about how oh, it was bold how you went up and uh gave Clifton a kiss. And yeah. she was like, it wasn't bold. I've been waiting to kiss that man for a minute. Yeah. And he explained that it's bold because. It put other people on notice, like, oh, okay. But you, I mean, I guess everybody is. I think when he said that, I'm like, yo, but everybody knew though already. So why would it put you? Put but it really let people know, oh, okay. And like Paul said, it made other people wonder, like, is there room for other connections? But it lets you know where your spot is at. Your spot, guess what? Your spot's not with her, <laughs> or your spot's not with him. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, she said, she said, you know, I'm open to the process. But you gonna come uh, strong though, right? But she was like, you know, I'm ready to, uh, you know, to focus and hone in. And Paul, Paul was like, you know, I need to drill down my connections. And um, in the end, like I said, they they ended. You know, uh, it was a, a good little bonding thing they had. And he was like, no matter what, we've connected as friends, even if we didn't connect romantically. Yeah. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Um. Then we see, which I was surprised, Laverne took. Ace out. I'm not, I'm not, really thought that was his main thing. It, joy is his main thing. He thought Joy was. His well, main he thing. said they were like kind of. Right, so he couldn't get a date with Joy, so he took Ace. Which again, this is the whole thing with Laverne. I think Laverne's playing Ace so he can get saved. Cause he was in the bottom of last week. Oh, well, you said get get saved. I ain't talking about saved in church, saved. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank you, I Jesus don't saved. Think you want to get saved? No, but I'm talking about get saved so he doesn't go home <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Because he realized he was in the bottom last week. He had no other connections but Ace. So now, okay, Joy helped, helped me get in the bottom. So let me go ahead and just connect with Ace, lock this bad boy up. Because we even see it in deliberation. She's like, oh, you guys need to lock in who you need to lock in with. He has nobody else, mm -hmm. right? There's nobody else for Laverne but Ace. So he figured I'll lock in now. Let me lock in with her. And they might really like each other, but he wanted to lock in so he doesn't get sent home. Mm -hmm. um, but he takes Ace out. And he was like, oh, I got you a little something, something. I'm assuming it was a, a salt, a salt scrub, some kind of yeah. scrub. And he he rubbed it on her arm. And he was like, she was like, oh, okay, I see you want to just mm -hmm. go for it. You just will do it. He was like, he mm -hmm. a too strong. Why I'm waiting. And she was like, you know, it, it got me all blushy, kind of mm -hmm. like school girly when I'm with uh, Laverne. You know, that's how I'm feeling up or whatever. Um, and he even went, so he wouldn't put her napkin on her lap. Like, he was really just showing Oh, it was really showing out. And um, she was like, I don't really get the Laverne that other women say they've been getting. Because even in their conversation there, she was like, you know, uh, when I share with him, he listens and he locks in or whatever. So, obviously, she's feeling Laverne. Um, yeah. 
he asked her, are you a good planner? She said, yeah, uh, at times. And um, he was like, well, me, I want to experience different things with you. And he said, tell everybody that I'm the man for you. You know, we're making plans. You know, See, he talked that about right, that from... That right there, you tell everybody I'm the man for you. Which means, tell all the women, tell everybody else that I am the man for you so you don't send me home. <laughs> That's his plan. I'm telling you, that's his plan. He was come. We talked about precious. Like. We talked about precious a couple of weeks ago last week when she poured it on thick to Demetrius, right? Mm -hmm. um, and try to find a connection. This is what Laverne is doing here for Ace. He's pulling on thick so he can stick around. Mm -hmm. um, but after the date, they uh, after Ace said, you know, we're in a different stratosphere now. You know, we've been connected, but it's different. Now. Yeah, and and he was like Laverne, like Joy's no longer kind of in the conversation, right? Um, we see Tori take Precious out. Uh, you know, he wants to kind of explore that connection. Um, both of them acknowledged they connected at first, but it kind of got sidetracked. And Precious really kind of said it got sidetracked because you got wrapped up in Sabrina. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he was like, I want to see what makes her tick and get to know her better. And, um, you know, the question between the two of them was, you know, are we better as friends or lovers or she said sex friends. And he was like, yeah, because you know I'm the kidney smash. You know? <clears throat> and she was like, you back to that. Like, what, what, Childish. There's something about you and these kidneys. Like, Childish. Why would you want to smash my kidneys? Um, uh, she asked him, you know, what do you, what do you want to know more about me? And he really didn't ask anything. He asked for another shot. He didn't. I mean, but he said it. He, he said it at the end of the vignette. He knew after that whole conversation, kidney smash and all that, he wasn't feeling, she wasn't feeling him like that. Mm -hmm. And he could feel that she wasn't feeling him. And he was like, all he was thinking about was Sabrina. I mean, if, if she was going to let her smash her kidneys, maybe. But he wasn't feeling her. He even even with the kiss across the table, right? Yeah, it he was whack. It was whack. And she was like, oh, I don't know where that came from. She even was like, I don't even know where that came from. And he was like, I'm trying to find some sparks. But, bruh, it ain't spark. Yeah, she ain't feel it. He didn't feel it. She said she didn't feel the emotions or the passion. And he of, said of the moment. He said it wasn't no spark, and... Because it's never a spark when you force a kiss. Yeah, he's really just interested in Sabrina. So yeah, he forced it, so he has one connection. That's it. Yeah. Um, all right. And see, let's see. Um, then the guys actually go back to the gentleman's lounge. Yeah. And uh, Paul coming in was like, this is going to be a rough one. You know, it's <laughs> going to be difficult. I don't know where he got that from. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Because it, it was actually kind of rough. I, I'm sure this was one of those ones that was longer uh, and had, it was deeper than than we saw. Then we saw because you, again, you could tell when they had some. Well, we we'll get to that. Laverne and them had a little interaction. Yeah, Eric shares that he went out with Carmen. Um, that's opened some more doors. You know, Dakia was his first date though, and you know they vibed from the beginning. So you know that's where he is. Clifton said, you know, he went with Dakia, and he actually got a different person, a different side of her this time than the all business. Yeah, he got the um, fun side. Um, Demetrius said, you know, he went out with Tina and that shifted some things a little bit. Uh, Paul said, you know, it was like an instant connection with her and him, uh, Paul and Tina. Um, Donovan talked about how he vibed with Sabrina, mm -hmm. uh, that Carmen kept him on his toes because she's a, you know, a boss or whatever, that Dakia was fun and driven and, and she's just pretty. And so, you know, he's feeling the three of them. Um, Laverne against his ace is peace. And she's calm, and she could be the one to play in my life with. And Tommy was like, "Dang, you you pinning it down like that already, you know?" Cause and so, he, cause he has nobody else. That's when he goes into the hey fellas, and you know, me give you give you a little advice. Um, he well, first he says it was between her and Joy, mm -hmm. but you know. Aces come to the top, which I mean, we already knew that though. But yeah, uh, and like I said, he said, you know, guys, it's time to you know start being intentional and you know figuring out who you want or whatever. Demetrius like, don't tell me who be intentional. Eric was like, I don't need no advice. Yeah, Demetrius was like, look, we know that, bro. I don't need you to say nothing. Don't need you to say nothing. And he was like, well, I'm just saying something. Don't interrupt me. You know, he was like, but, bro, we don't need you to be telling us that. You can tell it got a little bit more heated than that because they cut that scene. It got it got it got a little bit more heated than that, and then Tommy said, "All right, now wait, wait." The way that Tommy came back was like they had just calmed it down, mm -hmm. and now they, they they moved on. Yeah, um, uh, and Tori, you know, talked about his um, 
strongest connection being Sabrina in his vignette. He was like, I'm not gonna be deterred by whoever else is feeling her. Yeah. Um, it just is what it is. Okay. Who are the guys not feeling? Demetrius not feeling precious. Tori's not feeling precious. Yeah. Donovan's not feeling precious, not looking good for you, precious. Laverne was like, you know, it's not there for me when it comes to Sabrina. Paul was like, I didn't have any uh any romantic, romantic connection with joy. joy, so I'm not really feeling her like that. Eric says, you know, I'm not really feeling joy because she seems to have already made her choice. Mm -hmm. You know, she's settled where she is, so, you know, what's the point? Um, and so we see Demetrius take joy out. Yeah. And um, Clifton. Clifton takes precious out. So joy is like, you know, I'm kind of confused by the date. You know, never been out with him before. It's like, what's the point? And I said at this point, when you start at this point in the game, you four, five weeks, six weeks in, and somebody that you ain't, somebody that you haven't taken you out, take you out, in your mind, you should already be thinking, ding, ding, ding. Might be elimination time. Right. Might, I might be going home. I might hear those words. I'm not ready to love. And Joy came that way because she came with a fire. Like, hold on. She came with guns out. Bang, bang. Yeah. Ready to blaze. Um... Uh, he was like, you know, I want to see what's between us. And she was like, look, I trust my gut. There's nothing there for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, you know, I don't know what you're doing. It's like, I know who I'm feeling. I know it's not in this space. Like, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Demetri was like, you know, the guys talked and they felt that you were already locked in and you're not seeing anyone else. Are you still open to a romantic connection? And she was like, you know... I feel who I feel, and I'm weaning guys off. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't and in her vignette, she was like, uh, well, I think she said it in front of him, my mind can't be changed. I know who's at the top. I know who's at the top. I know who's in my top tier. And we all know who's in my top tier. And then top she tier. tried to flip it on him was like, question is, are you ready to love? What you here for? What you doing? Who you talking to? Yo, I was like, damn. Joey, like, it, she flipped it. You have thought it was the woman's deliberation. I, li I was literally about to say that. Yeah, she like, flipped for it. Real. Yeah, for real. That's how we connected. We like I that. was like, yeah. when I was watching, I was like, wait, who getting? Who's who? getting eliminated, right? But, hey, she flipped it on him. He's like, what you mean? You, you're the one starting sh stuff. <laughs> Uh, we see Precious talking to Clifton. Again, they've never had a date before. So she's excited, but she's also leery. She says, something telling me something ain't right. Uh -huh. Again, like my husband said, if somebody's asking you out on a date several weeks in that you've never had a date with, be suspicious. It's probably an elimination. Probably elimination. Um, and so uh, Clifton was like, you know, the guys was kind of feeling like, you know, you got this party person vibe. And she was like, nope, nope, not doing that. One person. Uh-uh. I'm not going with that narrative that's been spread by somebody else. Demetrius tried to say that. I'm not <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah, I and love Precious, man. That's what she said. I like Precious. Yeah. I'm sorry. She... she 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 look. She knows. She was like, that's the same crap that he said to me. So I know she, he said. She's straightforward. Like, look, I know what it is. I look, nope, not a problem. Um. So, um, Clifton tells her, you know, the guys have come to a consensus, and uh, Demetrius tells Joy, you know, the guys have come to a consensus. No, but Joy's hot. You got you got to paint the picture. Joy's hot because they going back and forth. Yeah. And he kind of basically just got to tell her, be quiet for a minute. You're not going home. <laughs> yeah, he like, says, you're not ready to end just yet. But you on notice. And she's like, I know he's trying to just here do his job and do what he yeah, was Yeah, she to said, do. I know he came to deliver a message. And you shouldn't shoot the messenger. And I'm sorry about that. Not really. Bang, bang. I'm shooting the messenger. <laughs> she shot the messenger. So, in... On the flip side, so Joy is still ready to stay in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Clifton tells Precious, you're not ready to love. You know, your journey's over. She was like, uh, nope. Nope. I don't, I don't agree. Don't agree. I don't receive don't it. I don't, I don't agree, but okay. And look, she she had to know that she was going to be on close to chop block. From the last time, you was at the end, right? What connection did you make in those weeks that for you not to get eliminated? You didn't make any. And so, guess what? You knew your time was up. You, you and Paul wasn't that strong. He's not that strong with you. So, keep you. So, it was time for her to go. Mm -hmm. It was definitely time for her to go. I didn't want to see her go because I thought Precious was like, I don't want to say she, I don't, I don't even want to use it. She was the most down-to-earth person that was, I think, it was there. Mm -hmm. 
I like think, really regular, regular. Yeah, like regular, 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 she's, regular smart like she's dead. Type of girl. Yeah, she's smart, got a profession, and a party girl. She said, "Look, I want to, I want to party with my man or hang out with my man." Right. So not hang out with everybody. I want to hang out with my man. So that narrative that uh, Demetrius or whoever spread killed her. Oh, not killed. Her. Made her go home in this game. I want to say killed her. Allowed her to go home in this game. So Precious is gone, and it's down to six women. Yeah, and so we get a, a little sneak peek of Tommy meeting at the um the wine bar with the women. Yeah. How y'all doing? Everybody like, I'm doing good, doing good. The kid was like, I'm not doing good. I had a little interaction with Eric. Yeah, uh, mm -mm, a little yeah. incident mm -hmm. between us. Yeah, I just don't want to be in contact with him at this point. What? This is what you guys get. This is what they get for doing stuff off camera. Right? Because no one gets to see what it is. Unless they have footage, we don't see what happened between Eric and Dakia. And even, even when we get into next week, I don't think we ever see what happened between Eric and Dakia. I know we say it. I think, again, I think her feelings are hurt. He tells her he doesn't want to be with her. He lets her down and tells her she wants to be with Carmen. And she doesn't know how to take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, well, we'll a, see. I'm not saying it's a feeling shallow situation, nothing like that. It was one. Of, I think it was one of those situations. Her feelings are hurt mm -hmm. because of what he said. She says she told tells Tommy, you know, I think Eric just needs to do some reflection and some growth on his own. So I'm gonna leave him to do that. You know, we connected from the beginning, but that all changed in an instant. Is what she said. I'm like, yeah. uh oh, something went down. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let us know your thoughts. What will happen? What's ha what happened? Go ahead and just speculate what happened between Eric and the Kia. Uh, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Which, did, it, did the right person go home? Should, have, should Precious have gone home in this episode? Let us know what your thoughts are. Once again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And also join our channel and be a member of Jack and Glenn and get some special perks. Go ahead and hit that button, the membership button, the join button to see what the special perks are. Perk, we'll see what the special perks are. Make sure we do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But I love you anyway. We see you guys next week on the next review or the next uh, show. Bye. Bye.